Hello! Once again, I'm going to be reading something that I've written. And I hope that you will not believe it because I said it, or because I wrote it, but because it's the truth. And you'll do your own research <coughs> to prove if what I'm saying is true or not. Get your Bible out and do your own research. Don't believe it because I said it or somebody else said it. Read it for yourself. I'm going to read a document that I've written. It's called The Lie of the Tithe. The modern church is being taught lies from the devil. One of the most pervasive lies is the false doctrine of tithing. Let us look into God's word and allow his Holy Spirit to reveal the truth about this. I'm not asking you to take my word for this, but rather that we would allow God to speak for himself. Tithing was never about money, but food, livestock, and produce. Let's read the scriptures for ourselves. This study is not intended in any way to discourage free will giving, but rather to put to death the legalistic bondage of the modern doctrine of tithing. I never experienced the real joy of giving till I stopped tithing. I faithfully tithed for over 23 years, and God never opened any windows in heaven. Actually, this verse is talking about rain in an arid land, not money. When I laid aside this lie and started giving where and how Jesus tells me to, I have experienced the real joy and blessing of giving. Please note that ancient people had money. Jesus said, show me a denarion, a small silver coin. The law of the tithe was never about money. The tither was commanded to eat his tithe before the Lord. Catch that, eat with your mouth. As Christians, we are no longer under the law of Moses. The following lists the 39 verses that mention tithe or tenth part. I'm just going to read, mention the verses and mention, make a comment on each one of them quick. I'm not going to read the verses. I'm just going to read the, their locations. Genesis 14, chapter, uh, verse 20, and chapter 28, verse 22. Please note, both Abraham and Jacob's tithes were one-time acts, not every payday, and not money, but the spoils of war and produce. He gave the other 90% to the king of Sodom. He kept nothing for himself. Leviticus chapter 27 verse 30 through 32. Note, it's not money, but seeds, fruits, and animals. Big note, God's commandment of a 20% penalty for converting the food to money and then back to food. Numbers chapter 18, verse 21, 24, 26, 28. Once again, not money. It never was and it never will be. Deuteronomy, chapter 12, verse 6, 11, 17, and 18. And four, chapter 14, verse 22, 23, 28, and 29. And chapter 26, verse 12. Note that tither is commanded to eat his tithe before the Lord. And what he could not eat himself was to be given to the Levite, the stranger, the orphan, and the widow. The Levites were not allowed to own land. So if you want to be under the law and receive tithes, you must give up your property. The prosperity preachers won't like that, will they? 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 15 and 17. Once again, not money, but animals. This was the king's tithe that the Lord had already said was not his first choice. 2 Chronicles chapter 31 verses 5 and 12 once again not money but food Nehemiah chapter 10 verses 37 and 38 in chapter 12 verses verses 40 in chapter 13 verses 5 and 12 once again not money but food Ezekiel chapter 45 verse 14 once again not money but cooking oil Amos chapter 4 verse 4 once again not money but food Malachi 3 verses 8 and 10 Note, meat is not money and the church is not the Levitical food storehouse. You'll see more on page 3 of this document. 
Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. Mint, anise, and cumin are spices, not money. Luke chapter 11, verse 42. And eight, chapter 18, verse 12. Her, herbs are not money. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 2, 4, 5, 8, and 9. This is about Melchizedek, not Jesus. See the Amplified New Testament. Note. It's not money but food, and it's talking about the law, not grace. There, I've read the I've read the type the names of those passages. Millions of Christians in the United States and other countries are being burdened with this ungodly tax that is preventing the resources of God from going where they really need to go. Many of these church taxes or tithes are being used to build fancier buildings of which not one stone will be left upon another. Others are being used to keep dead works of religion open that should have died years ago. Many are paying salary to people who should get a job and stop living off the body. How can God's people ignore their destitute brethren in third world countries? Jesus has revealed to me other lies that I was taught in church, but if people cannot see this most obvious and simple lie, how will they understand and renounce the more subtle lies of the devil? 10% is easy for rich people and hard for poor people. Tithing ministers a heavy burden or impossible burden of guilt to poor people. 10% lets the rich Ignore the truth that God owns everything 100%. Malachi 3.10 is the second most preached verse in the United States of America, right after John 3.16. This shows you the power of greed and tradition. Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now with says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough. Proof that Malachi 3.10 is talking about physical rain, not money. Deuteronomy 28 verse 12. The Lord shall open you his good treasure, the heaven, to give the rain upon your land in its season. Luke 4.25. But I tell you the truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah when the heavens were shut up three years and six months, and great famine was throughout the, all the land. 1 Kings 17.1 Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. 1 Kings 18.1 and it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show yourself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. Deuteronomy 11:17. And the Lord's wrath be kindled against you, and he shut up the heaven, that there be no rain, and the land yield not her fruit, and lest you perish quickly off the good land which the Lord gives you. Second Chronicles 6:26. When the heaven is shut up and there is no rain, because they have sinned against you, if they pray towards this place and confess your name and turn from their sin when you afflict them. Revelations 11.6 They have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. Why am I so absolutely opposed to Christian tithing? Not just because it's a lie, but because it's an abominable form of legalism, just like circumcision. Galatians 4.16 Am I therefore become your enemy, because I tell you the truth? Galatians 2.21 I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, and Christ is dead in vain. Galatians 4.4 4. Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whoever of you are justified by the law, you have fallen from grace. Hebrews 8.13 In that he says, a new covenant, he has made the first obsolete. Now what is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to vanish away.
The Old Testament is obsolete, a shadow. We must live in the new. Legalism is one of the other gospels that Paul was so concerned about. Please read Galatians chapter 1. There is no historical evidence of tithing being practiced in the modern church until the 5th century. The very concept of 10% across the board is inherently unfair to poor people. A rich person can easily give 20% or more while the poor person suffers. Under the law, only landowners and livestock owners were required to tithe. The working class people had no requirement at all, period. I trust this information that I've shared with you will force you back into examining the scriptures to see what really is the truth. For the, for the modern Christian, tithing is a sin. Do you get it? So please stop sinning. Repent of your sin and never tithe again. Tithing subjects you to the curse of the law. That includes poverty. Stop tithing because it's a lie from the devil. The children are free. Matthew 17 verses 24 through 26. Please note, we don't owe temple tax. And when they were come to Capernaum, they received tribute, the temple tax. And they that received tribute, the temple tax, came to Peter and said, does not your master pay tribute? He said, Yes. And when he was coming to the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What think you, Simon, of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or taxes, of their own children or of strangers? Philip, Peter said to him, Of strangers. Jesus said unto him, Then the children are free. As Gentiles, we are not under the law of Moses. Acts 15, 28 through 29. And it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things, that you abstain from meat offered to idols, and from blood, and from things strangled, and from fornication, from which if you keep yourself, you shall do well. Fare you well. Please notice the early church did not require believers to keep any of the law of Moses, including the tithe. Galatians 5 4. Christ has become of no effect unto, unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law. You have fallen from grace. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. There, I've finished reading the document. Oh, I could get a little emotional about this. I get. I can get even could even get angry because as as a person that tries to trust people I would I would be sh I'm shocked how many preachers there are the majority of them are telling lies preaching lies just for the f filthy lucre's sake for money's sake anyway I hope that this video has l opened your eyes and you shall do your own research. Don't believe it just because I said it. Do your own research in your Bible to find out if what I'm telling you is true. And I'm certain you will. Tithing was never about money. It was only about food. So I think that's enough for today. Bye-bye.